Brown in Harmony on a beautiful February day. The birds are singing like mad because there's no springs on its way. So with that in mind, we're busy getting beds ready with our uh, work experience people who are here um, in conjunction with us and the wall garden. There's going to be some apprenticeships available for them. So we're getting the beds ready for planting, which means if you like to turn around there. So you can see this is some of our kale that's left over and cabbages and Macaulay's just um, weeding in between so that we can see what's in here, what's not and look to feeding the plants that are left and pulling out the ones that are no longer any use. Today I'm mostly just de-weeding de these beds, preparing them ready for all these lovely vegetables. I'm just taking all the weeds out of this lovely bed. I'm going to put the net over it just to keep the chickens and the other animals out of it so we can harvest it. So we're here at the Herb Spiral and the way this works is it was built by the tra trainees incidentally and Michael here was one of those who came when we first opened a year ago so it's lovely to have him back to come on work experience but the way it works is you build a spiral going up and the sun loving free draining herbs go at the top and then the shade loving north facing herbs go at the bottom and it's a really really clever design and what we're doing now is just looking at what took well and um, you can see the herbs at the top have done really well and this side has done really well as well and we're weeding and we're just going to replace it with other herbs and um, it's all trial and error to see what grows well in our climate So I'm here with Tim who's on work experience with us here and one of the tasks that we've been doing this morning is helping him to learn how to identify plants because one of their tasks this last week was to identify weeds. So what we've done is we've weeded the beds and we've identified that there are a lot of forget-me-not plants that are rogue. So I'll hand over to Tim. Do you want to say what you've been doing? Yeah, we've been going around the different beds and we've just been trying to identify the forget-me-nots and we've just been taking them out <coughs> and re-bedding them and we're going to try and keep them all together and we've just uh, been able to identify the differences uh, between the forget-me-nots and other plants as well uh, just by little markings on the leaves and the little leaves are shaped as well and also we've had some that were very similar and what was the final tool you used? yeah the other ones we saw they had a kind of like a, a, a white kind of goosebump looking thing along the leaf and then and they weren't furry as the forget-me-nots are there you go. So in a very short time this morning, about an hour, we've gone a long way to actually learning how to identify plants, which is fantastic for our work experience team. So it, I would even just push it. Alright, yeah. You know, because yeah. it's in, yeah. all you're doing is firming this soil around so it's a bit further down. Yeah, if you push it that'll compact it though, and then there's that good or bad. Well, it's just when you plant a plant, you you, you do actually stand on it or True. or firm it to, to mm -hmm. firm it in. Yeah, You're yeah. not doing the roots, right? And it's, it's the problem is if, if the roots get compacted and they can't take up the nutrients in the water and they get all Makes squished. Sense. Whereas just around the top, actually, it's not too much trouble, sense, does yeah. it? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now these have sprouted out because it just wants to keep on giving. The first actual crops coming through for the early springtime. In fact, this is what's called purple sprouting broccoli.
do that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take me video of me clapping. Oh, oh, him I know. smack me on the bum with Kale. <laughs> That's not so Here we are celebrating the first Roman <laughs> Rock. <laughs> it's a traditional <laughs> form <laughs> celebration. <laughs> yeah, it's a traditional celebration. <laughs> <laughs> that means Teesside Parks. Yeah.